Hi, I'm Sai Karthik, part of RTC Tracking and Planning Development Team. This demo video is about configuring planning elements in RTC Web Client. Currently, users can configure planning elements using RTC Eclipse Client. From RTC 603, we support planning configuration in Web Client 2. The planning configuration is available in Project Area Admin page. In the Admin options at the left panel, Notice the newly added planning option. All the planning configurations are grouped under two pages, general and plan types and plan views. The general tab contains common configurations used across in RTC with respect to planning. Estimate attributes allow users to change how one want to track and display the progress in the work item. Based on this configuration, users will notice the time spent of time remaining as progress in the work item. Users also have an option to display the progress either in standard week, day, or format or only in our format. Under currency configuration, user can now define available currencies and default currencies. We can add a new currency tile in a string. To edit a currency, simply click on it and enter the desired string. Added currencies will show up in the drop down for setting the default currency. To delete, hover on the tile and click on the remove icon. Similarly, user has option to specify different time codes in a simple fashion. User can add time codes which can be used in time tracking widget. Time codes can be edited and deleted similar to currency. User can also choose to, to synchronize time spent with time tracking. But this requires additional changes in work item presentation. Across configurations, whenever required, appropriate information dialogs are displayed. In Work Environment view, we can configure project-wide settings for work hours per day and the working days per week. We also have a provision on whether to allow users to override this setting. We can now select plan types and the execution items from the available work item types. This view displays all the work item types configured for this project area. Select the checkboxes to choose the work item types to be considered as plan types. Attribute mapping allows custom attributes to be considered as plan attributes. The table shows the currently configured custom attributes at the top followed by the built-in attributes. Note the icon differs for the built-in attributes and the custom attributes. Also, on hover on the icon, the tooltip shows the attribute type. Built-in is shown for predefined attributes and the custom attribute is shown for custom types. Only custom attributes can be removed for the mapping. The remove option will not show for built-in attributes. Add button brings up the dialog which contains the custom attributes that can be added. Here we are adding an impact attribute which adds an entry of custom type. Remove validates whether a custom attribute can be removed. We cannot remove an attribute which is currently in use. We can configure how to measure the complexity of a plan item. In the drop down, choose an attribute on which complexity can be measured. We can also enable block cards option which creates a new block attribute. During enable, Select the work item types to which this newly created attribute should be added. We can set an iteration as a backlog iteration for a timeline. This view lists all the timelines configured for this project area. The drop down lists all the iteration in hierarchy for this timeline. The search option within the drop down helps in filtering and notice that the result preserves the hierarchy for easy selection. Selecting an iteration which has child iteration or a parent iteration will display an information message. These are the options in general page. Plan types and views page provides the option to configure plan type definition, plan view and plan view elements. In plan types, we show all the plan types available for the project area. The plan types table shows the type, name, identifier, description if any and the actions that can be performed. Visually, type icons and tooltips icons are consistent across the tables. Show view action shows the configured plan views among all the plan views available for configuration in the project area. Users can select a checkbox to add a plan view to the 
plan type definition. Changing the values will make a predefined plan type a custom plan type. Kindly note, promotion of plan type is not supported in web client. Remove option is available only for custom plan type definitions. If a customized predefined plan type is chosen for removal, then the custom values are reset and shows as predefined plan type in the table. Plan type definitions can be removed only if there are no plans of this type exist in the current project area. Plan view shows all the available plan views in the project area, both predefined and custom. Remove is the only action available and can be performed only on a custom plan view. As with other planning elements, remove of a view is successful only if it is not used in any of the plan type definitions. In plan view elements, we can create and refine group modes, sort modes and filters. These elements are used in plan view test mainly. We can create a new group mode and sort mode. To refine, just select an element and perform the action available in the toolbar. Let's try to create a new sort mode and verify that this shows up in the plan editor. Notice that our new sort element is available for configuration in the plan editor. That's all from my demo. To sum it up, plan configuration is now available in web client in project area admin page. Thanks for watching. Thank you.